Hey here guys, we have a really calm day here actually again today, it's about 25 kilometers an hour all day long. It started this morning around 9 a.m. This is the, the big axle flux. But I just want to show here because I have this log that's been, this app has been open since about 2 p.m. I think you can see here's the watts be made of course right now amps all the stuff here goes with it but here's the kilowatt production for today since this morning and this is where it gets kind of interesting here so you can see right here this orange line at the bottom means it was in absorb so that cut down a lot of the for the amount of power that this turbine made today you can see here's the battery voltage it was in absorb as soon as the sun started to go down I started I came in the house started using more power too and this time cook supper and stuff like that the batteries now it is almost midnight it's 11 37 or something I'm not exactly sure what the time is 11 44 p.m uh, the wind is about the same as it's been all day and it's not coming from a very good direction it's actually has to go it's coming from the southwest and there's trees in that direction so the wind turbines are kind of getting whipped around a little bit turbulent wind it has got a little better since you see it here but it's pretty much always been the same I just want to do this quick update just to see so you, can, you guys can see the type of power these turbines make how strong and consistent it is they produce kilowatt hours I like this should be a lot higher too because both days when the when I blew those SSRs up it actually reset the day log charts and it didn't even register for those days this should be over 20 actually because those days were higher wind speeds they were coming from a better direction and what happens is that the with the midnight when it wants to reset or if it gets into absorb absorb it instantly hits those SSRs on on those smaller those 220 volt DC ones couldn't handle this turbine I had to put the three phase and change everything to the three phase and also too if you're switching on the AC the AC voltage is always lower on your input DC is higher than the AC so it's it's a lot easier on the SSRs this one's been working good now though at midnight it'll reset it'll reboot I have it set so it reboots every day so it'll instantly put the brakes on the turbine when it resets takes about 30 seconds or so I noticed maybe not that long but both turbines will put the brakes on and it'll reboot and then come back so if you're in a high wind event when it reboots you better have good SSRs on your clipper to handle it because it's just going to put the brakes on completely 
I just wanted to make this quick update just to show the, the, the log. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.